And thanks for keeping it here with TV9. We are taking your questions now for veterinarian David Graff. First off, why don't you introduce us to Norris, as in Chuck Norris. Yes, this is Norris. He's a young, neutered male. We estimated him at around one year, plus or minus. And he's a really nice kitty. He's uh, very affectionate. He's sitting here on my lap purring. Just hanging out. Yeah. <laughs> available available for adoption at the Cedar Rapids Animal Shelter. Fantastic. Kim's on the phone with a question about dog saliva. Go ahead, Kim. Hi, I'm a dog owner. I have a couple of little schnauzers, and my best friend has a brand new uh, basset hound puppy. He's about eight months old, and whenever the dog licks me near my face, neck, or arms, I break out in a red rash. The basset hound, when the basset hound does this? Yes. When the basset hound licks her and, and she breaks out with a rash, mm -hmm. what, what could that be from? Um, you'll have to ex excuse this because I don't have a mic sure. in. Sure. Um, it, if she has a skin problem, that will fr frequently cause a dog to lick the skin. Okay, okay. And there's any number of things that can cause a skin problem. Everything from fleas, uh, mites, skin infection. Okay. Uh, um, Allergy is a big one that causes yeah, dogs. Because I've never heard of a dog's saliva causing a skin problem on a person. Okay, so the question is... So the question is, the dog is licking her. Oh, the dog's licking the human. Yes. Okay, and, and, and the, she's oh, she's probably that you consult your human doctor for the, for this question. Okay, that may be an allergy to dog saliva. Okay, okay, yeah. and that, had... you can you can okay, when people are allergic to cats, it's actually an allergy to the dried cat saliva that's on the cat. So cats lick themselves, the saliva dries, and that's what people are allergic to. Interesting. So it, it would be possible for her to be allergic to her dog's saliva. And interesting, we were talking in the commercial break right before this segment started that Norris was having some hairball yes. uh, right, noises. Right before camera today, <laughs> Norris was trying to have a hairball, and uh, I thought that'd be a, I thought it'd be appropriate if he did that on camera, but he hasn't yet. Um, cats lick themselves, and they accumulate hair in their stomach, mm -hmm. and they'll make this wheezing, coughing noise before they try to expel the hairball and it's it's very very normal for cats and the thing to do is to get some uh, flavored petrolatum uh -huh. and petrolatum is the uh, name for Vaseline Vaseline's a brand name but petrolatum is uh, petroleum gel and you can buy this in a flavored form it comes in malt flavor it comes in tuna flavor huh. <laughs> and many cats like it and will take it and what that does is it lubricates the hair uh -huh. and it helps it pass through Okay. Interesting. So, so hairballs in a cat, it, it can be alarming to people when they see their cat trying to have a hairball yeah. and it makes them worry that there's something wrong. And it's, it's a very common, almost normal thing in cats. And it's treated with uh, flavored petrolatum. Good to know. Dr. Graf Norris, thanks for coming in today. And stay with us. We'll be right back.